Hey Pisces, this is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it how you need to. Also remember, it's a general reading. So just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, that information's below as well. All right, Pisces, immediate future, please. I'm also offering uh, $5 readings as a way of saying thank you. So, um, you can find that information below. Just send me an email. All right, one more for the outcome for Pisces, please. Or two. Oh, okay. Well, you could be dealing with the Earth sign. Sagittarius is here as well. It doesn't have to be any of them. Um, there's something that something, someone that you're holding on to, but you're also disconnecting from. And it's like you're doing it in a very I mean, healing type way. Um, it, it's, it's, there's a lot of comfort around it. But when we're starting with the Queen of Pentacles, like I said, you could be dealing with the Earth sign. Um, it doesn't have to be, though. The Queen of Pentacles really is, is, is the energy that values what she has. Relationships, whether it's material things, it doesn't really matter. Like, it's very true, very loyal. So it looks like something that you're kind of disconnecting from here. But also at the same time holding on to. So it's like kind of going your own way, but still like carrying this with you or this person with you. Show me this Queen of Pentacles, please, for Pisces. The Queen of Pentacles is um, you know, kind of like the glue around the situation. I mean, it could be financially as well. You got the King of Swords and the Chariot, air energy, cancer energy. Uh, it's interesting because it almost looks like with the chariot there, it feels like, you know, things were trying to move forward. There could have been a trip, travel, but usually with the, um, oh, you got the five of swords. Okay, so there's an energy over here that's like when it comes to moving forward, you have an angry energy and then uh, this can also be... It's a very logical type energy, but there's some type of anger that, that's residing there. And then you also have a more stubborn energy. So it's almost like those two energies are colliding and so it's like you're, you're pulling away. Show me this temperance card, please, for Pisces. So with the temperance card, that's Sagittarius energy. But that's, that's healing. That's kind of just like letting go and going with the flow. It's a peaceful energy, the seven of wands. Tell me more about that temperance. It's kind of a more guarded energy. It's not really a lot around it. What is the temperance, please? The nine of pentacles. It looks like you're kind of focusing on self, security, finances. Money is improving. And it's almost like on one side, somebody may be like a little bit more cold shoulder type thing. But I mean, in general, this is kind of like a focusing on self. This could definitely be around work, career. Show me this outcome for Pisces, please. Again, you have the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. I'm sorry, the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Swords and that Four of Pentacles. So it, it's, it's almost like when it comes to walking away, someone doesn't want to lose this. So something is changing around the situation and somebody's pretty wrapped in their head around that. With the Eight of Swords and the, um, the Eight of Cups, it's almost like over here you have the Seven. So some type of reflection or like, you know, inner work. And then when it comes to the change and somebody, you're kind of pulling away over here, somebody gets pretty wrapped in their head around that. Tell me more about the outcome, please, for Pisces. Why is the Eight of Swords there? Somebody's worried about losing this. You got the Page of Wands. 
could be dealing with it, a fire sign. The Page of Wands can be, you know, someone who... It's not always the energy in this Knight of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Five of Wands. Somebody's not really... I don't really know how to put this. With the Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands... I'm sorry, the, yeah. It's the energy of, like, excited, but also not really in a commitment type mindset and it looks like it brings some type of you know at least inner conflict on someone's side somebody's carrying some anger here as a result yeah it's more of a um especially compared to this energy over here definitely a more carefree uh, non-committal type energy. Alright, Pisces. I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time. Bye.